everyone, it's Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me with our Scrap Timber Prompt Black and White. So of course we've got um, Laura Alberts joining us today as she joins us each and every single day for one of our prompts. And our other special, special guest today is Christina Sorge. So I will make sure I link her video and channel down below so check out the description box down below if you have not popped over to christina's channel i highly recommend you do that she is the kit queen over there um she's got a whole bunch of process videos she's got killing kits with style she's got kit creation videos she's got the work so definitely head on over to christina's channel and check her out so me myself i am working on a layout Obviously, using my black and white collection, I have dug into my Coco Vanilla Studios Love Always collection. Well, actually, I started with my Love Always collection and I've used a little bit of a mix. So I got Love Always uh, and I've got the Love Always paper that I'm using. That is paper. Does it have a name? Let me just check for you. Frolic paper called frolic is that piece that I've cut and popped down the side and then the tag I made out of a random scrap which actually I think is from the more than words collection that random scrap um, I'm also using a few of the leaves and um, foliage from more than words ephemera and those acetate floral pieces I believe are a Maggie Holmes. Maybe the Willow Lane ephemera is where that those acetate comes from. Those of you that are more in the know than me and can remember, please feel free to pop it in the description, uh, sorry, in a comment down below and I can thank you for that. But yes, so a whole bunch of different supplies, mostly Coco Vanilla Studios, Love Always or More Than Words, but that acetate is definitely somewhere else. And I'm thinking it is Maggie Holmes Willow Lane. So I am, I've just backed my photo on a plain white card and rounded the corners just for something a little bit different. And I'm gluing the frame there that you can see me using. I'm gluing it flat to the page. Uh, and I'm still going to pop up my photo, but it's kind of going to be a bit like the mat or the frame mat is underneath, like a shadowy effect underneath it um also i probably should mention now that my video actually stops recording about or oh, maybe about five minutes before i actually finish this one so i will make sure i point out in the close-ups any of the little bits and pieces that i did add after my camera ran out of space oh so frustrating i um forgot to empty the deleted items so it ran out of space and stopped recording um, when it comes to gluing down acetate, we all, all know that that can be a little bit of a pain. You don't want it showing through where your glue marks or your sticky tape marks are. So what I have done is I've actually adhered it in all the spots where I know it's going to be covered. So underneath the frame, um, but nothing that's sticking out from the frame has actually been adhered down at all. It's I could completely... Um, lift those bits up and I did do that on purpose because I don't want that sticky showing through. I do know there's a strategy that if you completely cover your entire acetate in glue um, it can adhere more nicely but I also find that sometimes you can end up with a bit of a, uh, a warping or a bubble effect underneath your acetate because obviously it's such a thin piece to be working with so I just decided that I would just adhere just a tiny bit and that would be all the bits that were showing through under and that seemed to work the best for me so now I'm going to go ahead and so all that stuck down now so that's pretty much the whole gist of my layout um, and I'm going to go ahead and stick on my photograph I decided it was this was like basically it to my layout but it was looking quite Mm, boring for want of a better word so I decided to go ahead and use my uh, sewing machine to add a little bit more of a touch to it so I'm going to pop up this um, 
arrow and then I'm going to pop up that little butterfly and then I'm going to pull out my sewing machine and add a little bit of stitching on a few different spots around the page hoping that that's going to give it a bit of a pop then I will pop on a title and see how it looks so I have gone ahead and stitched all the way down straight down along the edge of the patterned paper I have also stitched um, down the edge of the tag and I've also stitched along the bottom of the photograph where the arrow is pointing. I then popped on my title which just says chill because this is just a picture of me chilling out and it was still a little bit lacking so I did go ahead and add two more tiny word phrases um, that I think really helped pop the page and they're called happy days and good times and then I went ahead and splattered on a whole bunch of black Heidi Swap Color Shine and white Liquitex acrylic paint and then some enamel dots so thank you so much for watching I'm sorry this was such a quick one I hope it inspires you to pull out some of your black and white things and get creating don't forget to hit up that description box down below to see a link to Laura Alberts' layout and Christina Sorge.